morning world, it's about 8am in the morning Bermuda time, midday UK time on Saturday the 10th of March 2018. The moon has just moved into Capricorn within the last hour or two and over the course of today the moon is going to conjunct Saturn and then tomorrow it will conjunct Pluto. There's a lot of astrological activity in the sky at the moment. Mercury Mercury and Venus together in early Aries, Mercury's just moved into its retrograde shadow. Mercury will now be getting into its retrograde shadow until the end of this month when it goes retrograde, and then it will stay retrograde until the 16th of April. I get the impression that the retrograde shadow before the retrograde will be much more significant than a shadow afterwards. So my advice to the vast majority of my friends and clients at the moment is don't go changing course now. Don't make major plans, changes of course, between now and April the 16th because you'll only have to rejig it again afterwards. Both Mercury and Venus will be squaring Saturn in the next couple of days. So there's um, yeah, some interesting energy around there in the world. Paralympics are happening. Um, there's this really interesting thing going on in, with the American government at the moment, particularly around Rex Tillotson, who seems to be suddenly ill and unable to fulfil his commitments. And as seeing as he's no longer on the inside cartel of the uh, Trump administration, it'll be interesting to see what happens with him over the coming few days. And then there's the upcoming summit, if it ever happens, between Trump and Kim Jong-il. Now. This has caught everyone by surprise. Whether it happens or not is debatable. Let's hope it does. Let's hope it does and that there's some type of resolution because it's in everyone's interest for the world to become a saner place. But it's going to be interesting to see two people who have been described many times as demagogues coming together and it'll be interesting to see if they can find some type of resolution. Who knows, they might be going out for a beer together. Can't see it, but nevertheless, let's wish it well. Once we get the date of the summit, that's going to be really interesting. Hope they don't do the Reagan trick of having all their talks with political opposites on void moons. Mars is trining Uranus. Mars in Sagittarius is going to be trining Uranus in Aries over the coming few days. That's interesting as well. Um, I do bring an element of connection with all the uh, earth, fire, and water at the moment with what's also happening in Britain with the ongoing spy situation around the nerve agents used on the two uh, ex-spies in Salisbury. There's a lot that we're not being told, you can be sure on this, and there's a lot more to come out. But my experience of, over the decades, of watching and observing the British security services at work suggests to me that they will be extraordinarily thorough and there will be some very interesting developments on this story in the near future. But it's an interesting one and uh, it's not going to go away anytime soon. But I suppose the big news at the moment is still the continued absence of air in the horoscope. So there's a lot of idle chatter, myself included probably. And um, it's going to be interesting to see what happens over the next couple of days, especially as Mercury and Venus square Saturn. For those people born, I suppose, towards the end of March, September, June and December, not at the very end, but about three, four days before the end of those months, this is a time of weeding and pruning and streamlining and clearing the decks. It's not a time of growth and expansion. It's a time to let go of things rather than add things, but this is just uh, natural wastage. Meantime, I'm in the mid-Atlantic quasi at least natural paradise of Bermuda. As with everywhere, there's a lot of politics everywhere you go. It's not my place to comment on it because I'm a guest on this island. The parakeets are buzzing, the wind's blowing, warm rain. How unusual is that for a British guy? And I'm off to do another eight readings today. Eight hours, seven to eight hours of readings a day I'm doing at the moment. So they're making me work hard, but I'm loving every minute of it. Big thank you to my hosts in Bermuda. And I'll catch you tomorrow, early morning Bermuda time. Take care, world. Bye.